There is new hope for a broad bipartisan agreement, this time on the issue of immigration reform. sign that Washington is going to act on something together. There are a lot of ways this could fail, but many on Capitol Hill agree tonight it is the best chance in years. Our economy is stronger when we harness the talents and ingenuity of striving, hopeful immigrants. And right now, <laughs> leaders from the business, labor, law enforcement, faith communities, they all agree that the time has come to pass comprehensive immigration reform. Now's the time to do it. The issue of immigration is not a simple one, but I think we have the opportunity to do it right. And if we do, I think we'll do a tremendous service to our country. We are here to announce that eight senators from opposite sides of the political aisle are coming together on a common sense immigration reform proposal. It is not going to be helpful for American workers when these 11 million are legalized. What's the most important thing you'll get done this year? Uh, I think uh, immigration reform is probably at the top of that list. Signed into law? Uh, I think by the end of the year we could have a bill. One that passes the House, passes the Senate, signed by the President? Yeah. No question. Do you support your own bill? Well, look, I, obviously, I think it's an excellent starting point. And I think 95, 96 percent of the bill is in perfect shape and ready to go. If the bill stays as it is regarding border security, do you vote for it? Listen, I'm, I really don't want to get involved in these hypotheticals and ultimatums well, about what I want. That's a very real possibility, Senator. Well, no, it's, I don't think it is. If Speaker Boehner moves forward uh, and, and permits uh, this to come to a vote, even though uh, the majority of Republicans in the House, and that's if they do, uh, oppose whatever it is that's coming to a vote, uh, he should be removed as, as Speaker. We're going to legalize everyone here illegally right now. And then in the future, wink, wink, nod, nod, we promise we'll secure the border. Generations of unfulfilled dreams will finally come to pass. And that's why I support this reform. The House is not going to take up and vote on whatever the Senate passes. The yeas on this bill are 68, the nays are 32. The bill as amended is passed. You know, I've seen a lot of intellectually weak cases uh, in this town. I rarely seen as intellectually weak cases the case against the Senate immigration bill. I'm counting on the House. I'm counting on the House getting it even better. I'm counting on the House uh, realizing that we can't just continue on with this de facto amnesty. For everyone who's a valedictorian, there's another hundred out there that um, they weigh 130 pounds and they've got calves the size of cantaloupes because they're hauling 75 pounds of marijuana across the desert. The only thing that's holding it back right now is John Boehner calling it to the floor. The president but, has undermined this effort. Yes, Absolutely, sir, the but, president has undermined the effort. We need some indication from the White House and from the majority in the Senate that they'll actually work with us. I need your help. There are thousands of that's, people that's, that's, that's exactly we're what we're talking apart. about. You have a power to stop deportation from all of that. Actually, I don't. And that's why we're here. They are here because our government is tearing apart their families. This problem's been around for at least the last 15 years. It's been turned into a political football. I think it's unfair. Uh, so I think it's time to deal with it. For us, this president has been the deporter in chief. Any day now, any day now, this administration will reach the two million mark for deportations. Yes, they broke the law, but it's not a felony. It's kind of the, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an act of love. I think comments like Jeb Bush's and other Republicans, what they're doing is they're pandering to a certain group of people. I think race has something to do with the fact that they're not bringing up an immigration bill. This morning, the White House is calling a surge in immigrant children an urgent humanitarian crisis. House Majority Leader Eric Cantor has been defeated by Dave Bratt. This gets at the whole story of how the caucus is changing in Congress right now. You've got more conservative Republicans than you ever had before. Immigration reform is probably, I already thought it was uh, uh, on life support, it is probably dead now in, for the remainder of the Obama presidency. America cannot wait forever for them to act. And that's why today I'm beginning a new effort to fix as much of our immigration system as I can on my own. The president and his party had majorities in both houses of Congress for two years, and you failed to act. Hope springs eternal that after the midterm elections, they may act. 
What do you tell the person that's going to get deported before the election that this decision was essentially made in your hopes of saving a Democratic Senate? Well, that, that's not the reason. When President um, Obama said to us, in particular the Hispanic Caucus, I'm going to get something done and you'll know by August, uh, it is a disappointment. Uh, we're going to fight the president. Uh, tooth and nail if he continues down this path. There are actions I have the legal authority to take as president. The president has chosen to deliberately sabotage any chance of enacting bipartisan reforms that he claims to seek. And as I told the president yesterday, he's damaging the presidency itself.